Hey everyone, this will be a different type of video today. It's going to be a quick video vlog. Today we're going to Subaru and we're going to buy out the lease on the Subaru STI. This will give us a little finance and while we're there I'll show you guys a few vehicles. Comment below if you know anything about these old rally motors. This one looks like it has an old NA style manifold with a V mount intercooler and radiator. Looking down, the exhaust actually goes up to the head and then reroutes itself. I have never seen that before. Looking at this too, I like the alternator relocation. I've never seen the alternator like that. This one is a 1969 Subaru Sambar. It appears to be a very small pickup truck. Here's some little details I had to research. The first Sambar was a microvan introduced in 1960. By 1966, the vehicle was redone and a pickup version was added. Weighing around a thousand pounds and powered by an air-cooled 360cc engine. The Sambar has independent suspension all around and is real wheel drive. It proved to be very useful as a light commercial vehicle and a much updated version is still sold today. Reaching production in 1992, as business was booming for parent company Fuji Heavy Industries in the late 80s, Subaru got ambitious about where the future was heading. So why not make an all-wheel drive car? Powered by a flat six with four seater luxury. Here's the SVX. From what I remember though, these only came in automatic. That was the downfall. And then you have the new WX and the BRZ. The decals on these, I'm guessing, are representing the Subaru Wilderness colors. The BRZ here is a nice rear-wheel drive sports car. Since I'm taking ownership of the vehicle, the dealership told me I needed a safety. So we got some safety documents that basically say, obviously, unfortunately, the vehicle is in perfect shape. And then here we have our credit agreement. I'm hiding some of the critical information but I just want to say since this is my first finance ever thank you Scotia Bank for accepting it originally I had to get a co-signer for the lease agreement now it's all by myself so congratulations to myself and then it looks like congratulations we're just getting back from the Subaru dealership now and I got myself some new plates and some new registration You'll kind of see it in future videos, but Where? plates are hidden for now. As that happened, got myself a little gift. Oh, oh look at that. We got some new tail lights for the tow truck. And then we're going to look to install these on the Silverado. It needs some tail lights and now I can add some trailer wire into it also. 